Uh, should we still buy Solana or is it too high right now? Well, I'll take a quick look for you and then we'll sign off here. So let's take a look at Solana. Is it too expensive or is it too cheap? That is the question. Well, it's exactly what I would consider is relative fair value for where it is in its current price pattern, right? In terms of its long-term price pattern. So I, I put a like I, I I can't wait for July 15th. If it starts coming out of the 180 box, I'm gonna be like laughing my ass off because this is like this might just be the the best support resistance zone accumulation box that I've ever made if that actually happens. What I mean by that is when price was topping here at the 0.786 uh retracement level at 400 and uh sorry at 200 dollars came into this area and I said at the time, you know, if we dump down anywhere to 130. Uh, and then up 280, that's your area for accumulation between April 1st to uh, July 15th. Seems to have held very, very true. Anytime you go below that box, super, super cheap. Looks like the last one was there. We got uh, a buy signal. This is a good sign actually right here. If you look at the short, short term here on uh, Solana, we pull that across. It's just trying to break out right now on the daily. It had a, uh, a buy signal here. It was ignored. Price went down. Downtrend is still dominant. Got another buy signal here. We have gone up and we did get a sell signal and that sell signal was not hit and we're trying to break that downtrend. So Solana right now, if it can hold above that downtrend for a few days here and then start to increase again to 160 or so, won't seem like much of a move, but that will be your signal uh, that basically uh, it's probably going to stay well above this area of 140. And so it's easier buy at that point. So I think 150 bucks, anywhere between 130, 180 is a very, very fair price to accumulate Solana in. And if I'm talking to normies, right? Like our standard normie out there and they say, Hey, Charlie, what cryptocurrency should I buy um, to get, you know, good amount of X's over the next one year? If you say it and the market's going to go well, you know, well, I would have said Ethereum last cycle and the cycle before that, right? But Ethereum also will have diminishing returns. The returns that people want to see are, you know, that five to 10 X. Right. And so when that happens, right, something like Solana is the next safest bet that you can do after that. So um, I don't see any problem here with Solana. It's a very good price. Might seem high to a lot of people, but it's just consolidating before another run. And I believe this is its main support area before it hits new all time highs. Um, if we look on the weekly, turn on the buy sell signals. Oh, baby. Looking good. Double buy, double buy, double buy. And so once we get a weekly close above this area here where the sell signal hit, that was a close of $162. Once it closed above $162 on a weekly, then basically the buy signals are dominant. Sell, sell, sell signal is ignored. You go up towards the next sell signal. And if you And then if you do get a weekly close above that, basically then it hits new all-time highs. So if anything, this is likely your, area, your average area to buy in, 145. Maybe we come up here, come back down and accumulate, and then we go or we just go from here. So very, very good area to buy some Solana, in my opinion, at this moment. Um, does it have to confirm? No, it could deny, right? So at the end of this week, we could see a red candle here, and then this buy signal becomes resistance, and we dump. So you'll have to wait to the weekly close to see, you know, in five days and zero hours, does this actually hit?